If you want to know how you can make no backpack zones in Roblox Studio, just like this one on screen right now, then you're going to have to make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make no backpack zones in Roblox Studio. So how that works when you enter the zone of the no backpack zone of course then your backpack disappears. Anything you're holding will disappear. It's kind of like a safe zone and that is why it's so cool. You just go in the zone and you're safe. You cannot get harmed because the backpack is disabled. Nobody can equip a gun in the zone. And then when you exit the zone, of course, everything comes back. You can hold your gun again. You can equip everything again because you exited the zone. But if you're in the zone, you cannot get your weapon out. And if you're out of the zone, you can. So that is what we're going to be recreating today in Roblox Studio. If you're new to my channel and you like this tutorial, then make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. Become a member turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload weekly. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So newbie, what do we have to do to make this work? First of all, we need a folder in workspace. So let's do that folder, name it no backpack zones with a capital N, capital B and capital Z or Z, whatever, uh, whatever you like. Uh, so no backpack zones. And then uh, you want to make a part like this. You want to anchor it and turn Cancolite off. And then you just want to scale it. So this is going to be your zone. If the player touches this, uh, their backpack will go away. You can have multiple. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this. We've got three zones. I'm going to put them in a folder. Then we're going to make a remote event. And we're going to call it Backpack Event with a capital B and a capital E. We're going to make a script. And we're going to name it Server. And we're going to make a local script in start to GUI and name it client. So this is all you have to do to set it up. And now we will be coding uh, this system. Uh, and then you have a working backpack zone. So um, if you have any errors, join my Discord server down below. And my team will help you out. So let's go. Now we've entered the recap section and what I'm going to be doing now is I will be explaining all of the code uh, in this tutorial so that the people who want to learn from this can actually learn from it. So in the server script we are waiting for the player service and replicated storage. We are also waiting for the no backpack zones which is in workspace over here and we'll wait um, a maximum amount of 60 seconds for it in case the game is really slow but that will never happen. Uh, so this will also just load and we need it. Then we are going to we're, we're going to loop through everything inside of that folder. So we will loop through all of these parts. 
we're checking if it's a part, and if it's a part, and you touch it, we're gonna check if you're a player, and if you are a player, we're gonna unequip all of your tools, and we're gonna tell the client, the local script, to turn off the backpack or whatever you did. Then if you go out of the zone, if you touch end it, so if you go out of it, we're gonna check if you're a player too, and if you're a player, then we're just gonna enable everything back. So that's basically um, the server. In the local script, we are waiting for storage GUI and replicated storage. We have some variables over here. Uh, these are the things you can turn off and on. Uh, a little function to just make it easy. So all we have to do is just one line. And then if the argument is disable, then we're going to we're going to set the backpack to false. We're going to set it to false. So we're going to make it disappear. Then if you go out of the zone, we're going to use enable. And then we will set it to true. So let's test this out right now. So we're going to click play because we kind of need to. Okay, we're in the game. And there we go. So if we go in this, oh wait, I forgot I need to have some tools. Uh, let me quickly add a tool to my backpack like that. So now I've got a tool. And if I go in the zone, my backpack disappears. And if I go out of the zone, I get it back. And as you can see, if I hold this tool, so I'm holding it and I go in the zone and I get out, I'm not holding it anymore because we tell the server to unequip every single tool that is um, uh, being held by the player. So now say for example, you want to um, you want to disable something more. Um, I'm gonna show you what all does. So we're gonna change this both to all. We're gonna set all of the things to false. So let's do that. Let me quickly rotate this. Something like that. And now if we go in the zone, something crazy is gonna happen. Um, let me quickly do another uh, tool, tool like that. If I go in the zone, boom, everything disappears. My player list, my emotes menu, my chat, everything just disappears. And if I go out, everything appears again, just like that. And as you can see, you can just spam it, doesn't matter. If you go in, it's away, and if you go out, it is back again. And as you can see, we can go over here, and also over here. So if we go in this zone, it also disappears. So let's say you only want two things uh, then all you want to do is choose, for example, uh, I'm going to change it back to backpack. And I am going to make a little tool like that. And I want my player list to disappear. So you just type player list. And then over here you just do um, true. And that's how you do two of them. So let's try that out. Play. Okay. Play, play, play. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Now we're playing. And if we go uh, in this part... This will disappear, and my tool will also disappear. And as you can see, they both disappear, and I can still chat. Hello. And as you can see, it actually works. We disabled two of the core GUI things, just like we wanted to. So this is how you make a quick no backpack zone, or anything else no zone, uh, for your Roblox game. So if you did, in fact, enjoy the tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you did, uh, if you did not like this video, make sure to give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.